Hi friends, back in another video and this video we are going to talk about the NVH of this beast that is the noise, vibration and the harshness levels of this beast and this was especially requested by Mr. Sridhar, he is my YouTube friend, he is from Hyderabad so he said that uh, he has watched a lot of videos in YouTube and I do have watched a lot of videos in YouTube regarding this modified jeeps from uh, Mandi Dawali Punjab. So I, I do bought this jeep from Mandi Dawali Punjab and uh, a lot of my friends and other people uh, were asking about the performance of this jeep. So as we see there are a lot of videos uh, has been made on this which states the features about the tires, paint and uh, uh, engine and all those things but today uh, I am going to make it something different. I am not going to talk about the features, I am going to talk about the performance analysis of this Jeep as a owner of this Jeep, right? So I am driving this Jeep for the past 8 months and I have some uh, my own experiences and uh, my own reviews on that. See friends, when we talk about Jeeps, it is a Jeep, it is not a car, right? So there is a lot of difference between a car and a Jeep, car is meant for luxury and comfort, Jeep is meant for something. Uh, sporty and something rough and tough rides, right? So, if this Jeep is luxurious, it is not giving you that sporty look, then it is not a Jeep. And if your car is not giving you that smooth ride and the comfort, then it is not a car. So, I hope this Jeep is doing its best, right? So, let's talk about the noise levels. Say 2500 cc under the bonnet, diesel engine and that too a reboot, reconditioned old DI turbo engine which has been again uh, assembled and reconditioned by some mechanics, right? As far as I am concerned, I think they have done a very good job. Though the Jeep is not been manufactured in a factory, in a sophisticated factory by some uh, modern equipments or robots, but this Jeep is definitely done by professionals. Every work done in this Jeep is done by a professional, means the body, who has the, the, whoever has made the body has done it very professionally, whoever has assembled the engine has made it, assembled it professionally, whoever has done the painting has done it professionally and everything they have done, they have done it professionally. So there is no need of comparing this Jeep to a brand new Jeep that comes from a factory and is sold in a showroom, right. So as far as noise level is concerned, See, you can see there is no door here, no soundproofing, no damping mats, no interiors for sound control, nothing. So the entire sound, the sound of the engine, outside sound, road noise, wind noise, everything will be there. See, there is no aerodynamic body here, there is no aerodynamic structure here. As we see in cars, windshields would be slanted, tilted, here it is flat, 90 degrees, right? So 100% air restriction is there, so when there is air restriction, there is sound of the wind there will be sound of the air when you pass through it. So there will be engine noise, there will be sound noise, uh, sorry air noise and as far as tyre is concerned this is an empty tyre, this is not an highway terrain tyre, this is an mud terrain tyre and you can see the buttons, that those are quite big and when you ride this jeep in highways you will have that noisy uh, feel because this tyre is meant for mud roads or off-roading not meant for highways. And uh, uh, another thing, when you when you see that all other noise surrounding these jeeps will be coming inside that jeep. You will be listening to everything, you, even if you play music, it, you won't listen that, to that music. You can't listen to that music because this is a jeep. Again, I am telling you this is a jeep. And when you come to the harshness, right? See, why did I bought a jeep? I want something rough and tough, man. I already have a car which gives me comfort which has an AZ in it, which has an, uh, which goes in 130, 140 or even 160 miles, uh, kilometers per hour speed and I am very comfortable in it, driving conditions are good. But why do I bought a Jeep? I want something rough and tough, I want to go to off-road, right? And when you want, when you need to satisfy these conditions, the vehicle has to be harsh. See the tyres, it's bulky. Right? It's not an ordinary tire, it's bulky. Even there are bigger tires than this, but I choose this one. This itself is bulky. See the rim, 15 inch alloy wheel. Right? So, when you just uh, move your vehicle and you, for, for example, you dump into a small pit and you bounce back, the shock observer will lift the vehicle. When you bounce back, 
you feel a little bit uh, uh, like the steering is out of your control you feel like steering is going out of your control because the tires are bulky so two tires when it goes out of that friction right so it will just shake like anything and that will shake the steering wheel of yours so you will feel like even though there is a power steering you will feel like the steering is out of control but that's the feel we want that's the thrill we want so you you have to hold the steering very strong all the time right so as far as uh, i am i'm not going to take much of your time so as far as this uh, harshness is concerned it is harsh it is harsh and as far as noise level is concerned it is noisy it's a beast man beast are used to, beast used to be noisy only then only it is a beast if it makes no noise then how come it could be a beast now let me show you about the vibrations right so vibration let me start the engine yeah. you could see it will have a small shake the entire vehicle will shake and people sitting inside will also shake right uh, let me do a small test i have this bottle a little water in it so i uh, i'll ask arush to bring the camera near to this what we will do is we will place this bottle upside down uh the surface of this bottle uh is not flat so when we place it it will be shaking and there is a, a little bit of wind also so it will be shaking so now let us start the jeep and see what happens that's great man bottle didn't fall but now you can see the vibration in the water right the jeep is the engine is running ideal in ideal uh, position and uh, you have this much of vibration so let us see if we revive the engine if we raise the engine what happens you could see now the engine is running ideally and uh, water vibration is much and when we raise it it almost comes to a stop now the water is not vibrating now we release it yeah so that's what uh, friends see when you start the engine there is a little bit of vibration when you stop the engine again there is a vibration is there when it uh, when it runs in idle so again a little of vibration is there but when you ride it that means when you move that vehicle when it goes to a speed of 30 40 almost the vibration is nil there is no vibration at all and that's a magic that's a magic every part in this jeep is from different unit right engine is different <laughs> chassis is different body is different tires are different differentials are different but everything they have synchronized in a very good manner and they have produced this i think they have done a very wonderful job and these are the qualities which make it a cheap which make it a beast so thank you friends